All right, so ladies and gentlemen, one thing I want to go over with you real quick is at least a little definition of our eyes and understand um, a little bit of modular mathematics. So, so far in this course, we've only talked about what i is, which is our imaginary number to represent the square root of a negative number. And then what we did was we multiplied i times i, and we understood that i squared equals negative 1, right? OK. But it's important for you guys to understand what else do i to the higher power equal? Because a lot of sometimes in this course, we're going to get i to a different power than 1 or 2. And we need to understand, how, can we evaluate that or not? So what we're going to do is let's take i squared equals negative 1. And let's multiply it by i on both sides. So i times i squared is going to give me i cubed. Negative 1 times i is negative i. See that? Cool, isn't it? So now we can write i cubed equals negative i. Now, let's have fun again. Let's do the next one. i times i. i times i cubed is i to the 4, right? Equals negative i times i. Well, i times i is i squared, which is negative 1. Negative 1 times this other negative 1 is now going to give me positive 1. Got it? OK. So we can say i to the fourth equals 1. Let's just keep on going. Why not? Right? We're on a roll. So let's multiply by i again. So then i to the fifth equals 1 times i, which is i. Well, what is i equal to? i is equal to the square root of negative 1, right? So i is equal to the square root of negative 1. Negative square root of 1 is equal to i. So we can just write i to the fifth is the same thing that's equal to i, which could equal the square root of negative 1, but I'm just going to rewrite it as i. I'm just going to say, hey, it's equal to i. Right? Kind of follow this? OK. So using your reasoning, what would you say i to the sixth is going to be? i to the sixth would be what? Yeah, negative 1, right? i to the seventh, negative i. i to the eighth, 1. So if i, I to the fourth is 1, i to the eighth is 1, what would you reason i to the twelfth would be? Yep. you got to answer my question, oh, right? So you're, on, you're on the way. Well, so yes, hinting to your point, if i to the fourth is 1, i to the eighth, we just went through 6, 7, and 8, i to the eighth is 1, what would you reason i to the twelfth would be? 1. Think about it. I Remember, let's go through it. Let's go through them out. i to the fourth is 1. i to the fifth is i. i to the i to the fifth would be negative 1. i to the sixth would be negative i. Or no, I'm sorry. i to the fourth is 1. i to the fifth is i. i to the sixth is negative 1. i to the seventh is negative i. i to the eighth is 1, right? i to the ninth is i. i to the tenth is negative 1. i to the eleventh is negative i. Now i to the twelfth is 1. Do you guys see every fourth one, I always get to 1, right? So what would you say i to the sixteenth would be? 1, i to the 20th, 1, i to the 24th, 1, i to the 28th, 1, i to the 32nd, 1. Whenever you have it divisible by 4, it's going to be to the what power? 1. Do you see what I'm talking about there? Do you understand that? If it's divisible by 4, it's to the first, it's two, it's equal to i to the, it's equal to 1, or equal to i to the 4th power. Yes? Hold on. So what we're trying to get to is if we know that i, when you, have a, when you have an exponent and it's divisible by 4, then it's the exact same as having i to the fourth, all right? Because it keeps on repeating. However, let's say I'm taking a look at, um, let's take a look at i to the 17th. i to the 17th is not divisible by 4, is it? No. However, 16 is the closest number that it's divisible by. So I know that i to the 16th is equal to 
1. So what do you think i to the 17th would be? i, right? It just keeps on repeating over and over. So yes, what you're going to do all right, is you're going to take your exponent. If I wanted to figure out, if I said, what is i to the 83rd power? If I wanted to figure this out, right, what you're going to do is you're going to take 83 and divide it by 4. You're not really consider, you're not really, don't really care how many times 4 divides into it, but you're, you're interested in, does 4 evenly divide into 83? And no, it divides into 80. So therefore, is a remainder of what? 3. 1, because like this would be exponent 1. 1, 2, 3. So i to the 83rd is equivalent to i to the 3rd, which is equivalent to negative 8, or negative i. OK? Let's try two problems. Um, yes, i to the there you go. Why don't you guys try those, see if you can figure them out, OK? And we'll end the video with that. Just see if you can do those on your own.